in previous part I have talked uh, with all of you how to calculate the effort of the system. So now starting from the efficiency, how to calculate the efficiency of the system. So as we all know efficiency is equals to the useful work done on weight and the useful work done by the effort. So efficiency is percentage so we will multiply it by 100 and we will get the efficiency in percentage. So as you all know work done is equals to force into displacement. So here the force is load and displacement is uh, let's say DL. So work done by the weight is load into its displacement and work done by effort is effort into its displacement. So as we all know load by effort is can be equal to mechanical advantage. So it equals to mechanical advantage and distance traveled by by the effort and the distance traveled by the let's say weight or load is the velocity ratio. So this is how this formula is derived. So efficiency of the system the final important formula that we need to use everywhere is efficiency of the system is equal to mechanical advantage divided by velocity ratio into 100. So this is the formula that we will use everywhere. So now we will uh, see a numerical in which we will use all these formulas and your concepts will be cleared for lifetime. So now finally we have uh, come to the final destination that is numerical related to blocks and tackles. So first is uh, so this question in this question you can see a weight of 10 ton is to be lifted using two fold purchase rig to disadvantage. So you, you can see here first we will draw this uh, uh, figure that uh, a two fold purchase is rig to disadvantage. So as we all know a two fold purchase rig to disadvantage means what means load and the effort will be in opposite direction. So let's start from here here this in this direction is effort. So two fold purchase consists of four sheaves. So this rope goes from here then here then here one sheave two sheave three sheave then four sheave then finally rope will be here. So this is the direct gram of two fold purchase and this is what is the load. So this is how you are going to draw the diagram and uh, another part is saying that uh, the hauling part of this two purchase is secure to the moving block of the gun tackle rig to advantage. So gun tackle is rigged to advantage. So opposite you are going to do with the gun tackle and you will finally get this picture. This is the two fold purchase that we have drawn in the upper diagram and this the hauling part is connected to the gun tackle rig to advantage so this is the final picture that you will get so now in question what it is saying we have to calculate the effort required to lift the load so effort which is required to lift the load by the system we need to calculate it we will calculate the efficiency of the system and finally we have to calculate the size of the nylon wire required for two fold purchase and it is given that factor of safety is 6. So we have discussed what is factor of safety and how we can calculate the breaking strength strength using this factor of safety. Friction is given here. So we need to do some work to overcome this friction and velocity ratio of the system is the product of the individual velocity ratio. So resultant velocity ratio is uh, individual velocity, velocity ratio product. So now we will get into the solution of this problem. So as you can see we have a a two fold purchase in disadvantage condition. So first we will need to calculate the effort we need to apply or you can say the effort or the tension in this hauling part of this two fold purchase. So how we can calculate it we will calculate by using uh, the formula that we have studied earlier. So this is the load 10 is the load load plus load into friction friction percent is 10 divided by 100 into into number of sheaves number of sheaves is 4 divided by velocity ratio so velocity ratio it number of sheaves is uh, 4 and it is rig to disadvantage so velocity ratio is equal to n so if you calculate uh, this you will get 3.5 ton so here is 3.5 ton so for now this will become load for this system this individual system this individual gun tackle load of 3.5 ton so for this now we have to calculate what effort we will need to put so now for gun tackle which is rig to advantage so number of sheaves is 2 and velocity ratio for this gun tackle will be 3 now the effort of the system so this will be the final effort of the system so how we will calculate it we will calculate it like we have calculated earlier load for the system is 3.5 plus 3.5 into friction percent into number of sheaves that is 2 divided by velocity ratio Cal using calculator or whatever method you will do we will get the final result as 1.4 tons 
now we have to calculate the efficiency of the system for that purpose we need to find out the mechanical advantage because as we all know uh, efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage by velocity ratio multiplied by 100 so mechanical advantage is load upon effort so as we have seen in the question a weight of 10 ton is to be lifted if you if we see this as a system here we will put the effort and here this is the final weight or load on this system so load is 10 tons and we have calculated the effort we have to apply the system is 1.4 ton so the mechanical advantage is 7.414 now we can easily find out the efficiency of the system mechanical advantage divided by velocity ratio velocity ratio of the system is equal to individual multi product of individual velocity ratios which is 4 multiplied by 3 that is 12 and uh, using this formula we will get the uh, efficiency as 59.5% now the third and the final part of this question is uh, to find out the size of the nylon requ rope required for the two fold purchase. So now we only need to find out for two fold purchase. So first we will see the tension in the two fold uh, purchase or the effort we need to apply in two fold purchase. It is 3.5 that we have calculated in the uh, first part of the solution into the factor of safety. We have seen in the in the theory part that uh, breaking strength is equal of this system into is equal to uh, what the safe working load multiplied by the factor of safety so this much should be the safe working load so from this we can uh, get 21 as the breaking strength of this system now as we have uh, seen in the numeric uh, theory part that uh, the breaking strength of the nylon row can be find out by using this formula that is 5 d square upon 300 so this much be this much be equal to the breaking strength we have calculated that is 21 from here if you calculate you will get the uh, diameter as 35.49 mm so these are the solutions or this type of numerical is asked in the question so this much is important from this topic and uh, hope you have liked it thank you